Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about simplifying rational expression. And we're going to start to for these two examples uh, where we have uh, monomials, how we call it, uh, quotient of monomials. So there are basically two, the two ways to do it. Uh, one is really simplifying the way I will do it, and the other one using the laws of exponents. So first of all, if you notice, I separate them. In, based on the variable and the numbers, right? It's sometimes that helps. And then we're going to try to simplify. And the first thing I notice is y and y, they cancel out. And when I say cancel out, I didn't mean 0, I mean 1. Or if you want to put a 1 on the uh, top, that's also good. Uh, then we look here and we have x squared, which means nothing else than 2 x's. And here we have x cubed, which means 3 x's. So the two x's that cancel out the two, two of them here, we have only one left, and we have one more simplification, three goes in 21 seven times. So uh, the final answer for our problem will be, what, seven x, if you notice here, uh, we have a seven and an x, and if we look uh, for the numerators, well, it looks like we have nothing, but don't forget we have this one here, so we have to put this one. This is the final answer for number one. Pause it and do number two. If you end up with this answer for number two, then you did a wonderful job. What about these uh, two problems? In these two problems, first of all, we need to break the fraction in this format. 3x squared y over 21x cubed y plus 21x to the fifth y squared over 21x to the third power y. So that's what I meant by separate. So now let's try to do some simplification. Uh, 3 goes in 21 seven times. 2x is cancelled, 2x is here. We have an x left. And this y are cancelled out. So we have 1 over 7x. That is the first problem. In fact, we did it. But let's take a look to the second fraction. 21 and 21, they cancel out. 3x is here, cancel 3x is here. So we have 2 left. And the y here cancel a y here where we have two y's and we have one left so we have just x squared y this is the final answer of number three pause it and try number four If you have this sensor for number four, then you did a wonderful job. What about number five and six? And you notice here we have uh, binomials and trinomials. So how we do this? Factoring. Factoring. So we look in here to x squared plus 3x. How we factor that out? By using the GCF. The GCF of x squared and 3x is x and uh, so the factor form is x times x plus 3. What about the denominator? And that one you can use the diamond problem. If you need to review this diamond problem, you can find some example on my channel. So two numbers for product is 6, the sum is 5, x plus 3, x plus 2. And what do you notice now? 
x plus 3 cancel out. So the final answer for our problem is nothing else than 1 over x plus 2. This is the simplified form. Pause the video, give okay, and try number 6. If you end up with this answer for number six, then you did a wonderful job. One short observation on number five. We have an x instead of a one because it's still right here. Okay, so that is about a, a simplified rational expression when you have to factor out. And number seven and eight are nothing else than the same story. However, maybe we need to work a little bit more on number seven since we have three x cubed minus 7x squared plus 2x. And how we factor that out? First of all, we're going to factor the GCF, which is x, and then we have 3x squared minus 7x plus 2, which I'm going to factor out by using the diamond problem. 3 times 2 is 6, and negative 7. We're looking to, for two numbers whose product is 6. The sum is negative 7, negative 6, and negative 1. And I'm going to use the box. And again, if you want to review factoring using this method, you can find some video clips on this channel. Okay, 3x squared, positive 2, negative 6x, negative 1x, or just negative x. And the greatest common factor for, for, the, for the first row is x, for the second is 2, for the first column is 3x, for the second column is x. We're so looking here. We see this negative and a positive, that tells me here we have to have the negative substance, and it is minus 1, right? You can double check your work by uh, filling in the box, in other words, multiply, and I think that is fine. Uh, so, let's go back here on number 7. The factor for me is x, right? We need not to forget this x, which is right here, and then we have 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1 and x minus 2. Okay, this is the factor form for the cubic that is the numerator on number 7. What about the denominator? That is something that I think we did. 6 and negative 5. Two numbers whose product is 6. The sum is negative 5. Negative 3 and negative 2. So x minus 3, x minus 2. And these two uh, factors cancel out, so the final form for our problem is x times the quantity 3x minus 1 over x minus 3. Okay. Uh, don't even forget about this uh, second part, how we find those restrictions. Uh, look to the factor form, make it equal to 0, those are the restrictions. Okay, pause this video clip and try number... So if you end up with this answer for number uh, 8, then you did a wonderful job. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button, bell right, and come back and see square for more at video clips. Thank you.